Hi, welcome to Redis JSON and Redis Search at the Real Time Document Database presentation. I am Emmanuel Keller. I'm the product manager of both Redis Search and Redis JSON. With me today, we'll see IOS Tool. IOS Tool is part of the development team of Redis Search at Redis Labs. So today we are going to talk about Redis modules. We will have an overview. Then I will go a little bit in deep about Redis JSON capabilities and then Redis Search capabilities. We will see all together they extend the capabilities of Redis when you use them on the same database. IL is going to do a demo of these new features. Then I will be back talking about a benchmark we run and finally give you some pointers. Let's dive in. Redis modules, what are they? Basically, they are extension to Redis. Redis modules usually will add new commands to Redis or implement new data types. Very popular modules currently are Redis Search, Redis JSON, Redis JS, Redis AI, Redis Graph, Redis Time Series, Redis Bloom. Those modules are already popular for people using Redis on the cloud. And as you can see, JSON and Search are the most used one. They are already mature modules. You can use Redis Search and Redis JSON um, using Docker Hub. Docker Image are available. And as you can see, uh, both modules are downloaded more than 10,000 times a day. So what is Redis JSON? Redis JSON implements the JSON standard for Redis. It means that you are able to associate a key in Redis with a value which is a JSON document. It provides uh, a set of commands that let, let you set, of course, a JSON document. You can also partially update the content of an existing JSON document. You can make operation like incrementation or other set of operation. When you need to retrieve data, you can use the JSON get command and this command will accept a JSON path and you, can, you are able to extract the value you are interested in. You can, of course, also retrieve the whole document. About Redis Search. Redis Search uh, is a secondary index and query engine. It provides full text capabilities uh, on top of Redis. You will have multi-field full text indexing, geo filtering. You can make complex Boolean queries using AND or NOT operator, prefix matching, fuzzy matching, phonetic search, multi legend streaming. You have aggregation that you can use uh, to make facets or, or analytics. And as you can expect from a Redis module, it's provided really low latency incremental indexing, which means that you can update your data and still continue to make search without uh, with low latency and a re really high throughput. What's new with Redis JSON? Redis JSON uh, comes with a new version. This new version implements fully JSON pass. In the previous version, you have a subset of JSON. Now you can use all the query language of JSON pass to extract really the value you want from a JSON document. Uh, you will have also the support of active active. Uh, there is another session that we present with Omer Shadmi where we explain how Active Active has been implemented for JSON. And the, these new modules is also exposing an API that is used by Redis Search to index JSON document. Okay, what's new with Redis Search? Redis Search has a long history. The first version of Redis Search. Um, v1 was maintaining its own document database and uh, so it came with its own uh, data type uh, somehow and it was providing a dedicated command to uh, to update the database use ft add with the second version v20 uh, redis search become a secondary indexing solution it means that it was able to index directly hashes and then you can use the command from redis to update hashes and the index is automatically updated in an atomic and in quite real-time way. 
With the new version of uh, Redis Search, Redis Search is able to consume the API provided by Redis JSON and then is able to index JSON documents. So what are the capabilities that those two modules bring together provide to Redis? So as you know, you can put several active, several modules for one database. And when you put those two modules together, then you are able to index JSON document. As you can see here, FT create lets you uh, index uh, a part of the document using JSON path. You can then do search and project a part of your JSON document using JSON path as well. And you have the aggregation pipeline that lets you make facet or statistic, a really powerful command where you can uh, really play and transform the data that you have in your, in your JSON document. Time now for IL to make a demo of this feature. Up to you, Ayal. Uh, thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, let's move right into the demo. And we'll start with loading a new Redis server with uh, Redis Search and Redis JSON modules. Um, then let's load some data and look at it. So we start with two JSON set commands, which receive a key name, um, the root, and an object, which includes four fields the IATA code, the one that we know from uh, our uh, airplane ticket, the name, the location, and the country. So this is for Tel Aviv Airport, and another JSON set command for San Francisco Airport. Um, now we are just doing JSON GET to see that the information is indeed there. And we can see that we can fetch even within a field inside this JSON. So we can go inside, we don't need to load the whole JSON. So the data is there, now let's uh, index it using the ftcreate command. Uh, we create an index called airport, we declare it as a JSON index, and then come the schema. Uh, now you can see this new keyword as, which allow us to make an alias to a field. Um, in this case, we have even two aliases to the field IATA within the uh, JSON document. Uh, one of them is a tag, sortable, the other one is text no stem. These are just examples. You can do use it uh, as your use case uh, command. Um, next, we have name, uh, which is a phonetic field, and location, which is a geo field. We will use them all in this example. So. Once we created this um, index, um, Redis run a scan command and fetch, <coughs> fetches all the keys and indexes them. So now we are ready, we are ready and we can uh, start querying up the information. So FT search on index airport for TLV. Well, we expect to have one, we have it here. We can even do a prefix search on it and we'll get the same data or we can search in a specific field and once again get uh, the document. Here, since we didn't specify the return fields, we are getting all the JSON. We will see later, you can specify which fields you want to get and then you will get only those fields. You don't need to fetch the whole document every time, um, but for now we are doing it this way. Uh, next, we can see a phonetic search. Um, and we find it with no issue. And a Gale query, uh, where we're looking for airports within 100 kilometers of this uh, longitude and latitude. And we get again San Francisco. Again, we can specify the fields, uh, which we want to get back. So here we say return two fields, name, which is an alias and is in the schema, and country, which is not in the schema. And as you, we can see, we get both name and country uh, as a return value. So thank you for this, and it is back to you, Emmanuel. Thanks, Ariel, for the demo. I would like now to talk about uh, this benchmark, the Yahoo Cloud Serving benchmark. We ran the e-commerce version of this benchmark where we are ingesting a 1 million product database. The benchmark is about updating all the time the product and concurrently at the same time making search and read. And what we observe 
is that compared to other products vendors that Redis is from three times to 37 times faster. We are soon going to publish those results and the code source of this benchmark uh, in a GitHub repository. Those new features co comes with a new version of Redis Search on Redis JSON modules. They will be available as a private preview in May. When this uh, private preview will be available, you will be able to use uh, those clients, Python, TypeScript, Java.net, and the other modules, Go, Rust, PHP, will soon be updated as well. I would like to mention Redis Inside. Redis Inside, more than a web interface, is a, really a development environment. It provides data browsing, CLI, and access to specific information about all the modules you are, you are using. It's really a tool that you want to use when you are developing um, an application on top of a multi-module database. Thank you for your time. I invite you to visit redisearch.io and redisjson.io. And with IL, we wish you a good RedisConf 2021. Thank <music> you.